Hi everyone, David Manley here from Tech Know How, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily calculate and include percentage and percentage by total for your data in Power BI. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take data like this, clothing data, we've used before, we've used the same data set before, and I'm going to show you how to go from this to down below here where you can start getting some insights, some ideas on what's going on. And so we're not just going to do percent total of one column. We're going to do it for three different columns. So what we want to do is you want to look at this data. I've got item, item number, group, count, amount, and profit. The most important things here that I'm going to be looking at is count, amount, and profit based on these. So let's start off with count. How do I get percent of total based off of this? I've got 4, 2, 10, 147. So what I want to do is click in here. Then when I look down here, I've got in our columns here, I've got profit and I've got amount amongst other things. If I scroll this up to the scroll bar here. So I've got item, item number, group, count, amount, and profit. So what I want to do is I want to get another one of count. So we're going to bring that back in here underneath count. So now you've got two counts, right? But the second one, I want it to be show value as percent of grand total. So see, I just did that right there. Now it's got an ugly name. So let's go change that real quick. Rename for this visual. And we're going to call it same as below percent under, oops, underscore Total underscore count. And I already have count there, so I got count there twice. Let's go back, and there we go. Enter. And what we're going to do is the same thing for amount. Very simple. Drop that in. Hit the down arrow. We're not going to worry about these. Don't summarize and all stuff. Show value as percent of grand total. Same thing again. Now go and rename it. And we're going to say percent. underscore total underscore amount see that just like that and then we got to do it again for profit so we'll take the profit column here there it is where you don't want to copy the exact same thing so we got to go here hit the down arrow we're going to go to show value as percent of grand total and then again it's just ugly name so we're going to rename it and to something that fits so we want to have percent oops total whoops I hope I spell correctly here and uh, we want uh, the profit right so profit is by the way the most important of the three the reason being is obviously if you're not profitable it's not good um, so what we're looking at now is I've got the same data as in here so now that I've got this from here I can easily go and add some slicers so I can put two slicers in oops I want to go back because I don't want to change that to a slicer and uh, I want to click out here. I don't want to lose our graph. And I'm going to add a slicer out here. And we'll make that nice and small, kind of like this. And try to make that mimic the previous one. I'll break this about halfway or so. That one will put group in. That's what the first one is by group. So you can filter by accessories, clothing, footwear. So what's really neat with this is once I do this, even though it's percent of total here, if I filter to accessories by doing it the way I did, it's also going to calculate percent of total based on the accessories only without the other three in there. I could put, put uh, accessories and clothing only. If I want to look at those two, there's percent of total there. So as long as you do it this way, um, you can do that. So next what I want to do is I want to erase any filters I have and I want to copy this visual. And what I'm going to do is control V, which puts that right here. And I'm going to put that right here, make sure it fits, same thing. And I can take all of these and put the black barriers around it. So all I got to do is go to general effects and visual border on, same thing here, visual border on, and here, same thing, visual border on. So I've got all three of those the same way as these. Next, what I want to do is I want to click off of here, make sure you didn't click these, click out here, and I'm going to put a pie chart out here. So we'll put the pie chart right there. And then for the pie chart, obviously we have profit by group. So what we're going to do is go here and we've got legend is going to be group. That's what our legend is right here. Okay. And then the most important thing here is going to be profit. And I'll show you why in a second. So if I put profit in here, that shows the exact same thing as down here. But if you look at this, you can have a high amount here for jacket, right? You can have 17, you could have, sure, 20.77%. But is that the most profitable thing? So you're looking at, you got percent total of count, 
right? Your count, so you sold 32 of these. The amount, okay, so those 32 is $25 each, but the percent total amount is 4.86%, and the profit amount for items 11, which is 6.989%. It's not the worst of your items. The worst would be the belt, which has a, in this case, has a very low profit amount, right? So it's 1.88% versus the highest one is probably going to be these two right here, right? So 15.67% of the jacket and the boots. But if we go by this, what we sell the most of is clothing of shirts and pants, which are okay, but there are middle level profitability. So you want to focus on that. So that's where this bar graph that's built in here comes from. So if I click on this and I go back to these items, but I want to focus on profit, percent total profit. I could focus on anything I want here. I could focus on count. And I can see what I could highlight what count what I sold the most of. But that's not what I profit or has the highest profit set. Right now I'm looking at what's the highest profit set. So let's look at that. And if I take that and I click here, because I'm using the percent total profit, and I go to conditional formatting and I go to data bars. See this? This will come up. And then I can change the color. Right now it's set to blue. That's the default. I'm using lowest value and highest value. They're all positive, so I don't have to worry about the negative or the axes. So let's go look at this. And I could pick the same color. I think I picked this one. I could pick yellow. Let's say I want to have yellow instead. You don't want to have too dark of a color. So if I pick these really dark colors, you're not going to see the numbers as well. And it's not as nice looking. So let's pick something like this. And OK. Give it a second. There it is. If I don't like yellow, it doesn't color coordinate. You know, I can always go back. Same thing. Hit this again. Conditional formatting. Data bars. And change the color from that to what did we have? We had, I believe, this. And now it'll match. There it goes. See? If you make it too dark, you're not going to be able to read the numbers in here. That's the other thing. So if I go and do the same thing again, as I said, and if I make it really dark, and I go to the darkest level, which I didn't. I used the second one. But if I go to this, watch what happens. You can no longer read. Give it a second. There you go. See, you can't even read what's in there. It's not very good. So what I would do, again, is go right here. Conditional formatting, data bars. And let's pick the one we originally had, which is this one. And I can, there we go. I can clearly read the numbers in here. And this is exactly like this. So it's a quick way to get your data into a dashboard format from just a table, which we just had earlier. And now this matches what's down below. And now the only thing that's different is this one. I need to go to general effects and the visual border needs to be turned on. There. And then they're basically virtually the same. So what I did here was I showed you how to take your data, how to add a percent of total for every, for count, for amount, and for profit. Then we look at that and say, what is the most important piece? Because I don't want to put bars for everything. That'd be very annoying and very high. You could, if I want to look at what's selling the most and what's percent total profit, I could also multiply this column by this column and then look at the percent of profit based off of the count, which I might do in a later video. But for right now, this tells you where our profit centers are, or, our, or ne not necessarily our profit centers, but where our most profitable items are. And you would obviously right here is three that stand out like a sore thumb. The boots, the jacket, and the uh, sneakers. And you've got fil two filters, so I can quickly look at either by item. I could pick a couple items. Let's say I'm focusing on uh, oh, and we left this at group, so let's go back. Let's erase this. This one should not just be group. We want to change this from group to item. So let's go do this. Get rid of group and that second one. Now we've got item. So we've got group up here. If I want to focus on a group, like accessories, clothing items, you've got three different clothing items that are labeled as that. Obviously, the pants are the most profitable. Once you go down into the zone into that group, it can change what you're looking at. Then also... I can go and this will automatically update the items underneath there based on the group I pick. So I can look at this items and I can pick, you know, uh, let's say I pick boots and hat and jacket. And I can look at those three together. And it tells me that they're from three different groups, footwear, boots, accessories, hat, and outerwear for jacket. 
And you can look at based on what the company do. Maybe the company wants to focus on footwear and they want to see what's the most profitable footwear thing. So we go here and then we need to release this one. So let's go here, hit the eraser. And so we're only looking at footwear. So we got four items for footwear, sneakers, A, B, boots, and shoes. And out of those three or four, I'm sorry, you have boots and sneakers, B, not A, are the most profitable and shoes are the least profitable. See that there, these are much more profitable. Probably boots have a higher price, I would imagine. Well, there we go, 65, and that one's 76, and these are less, less costly. See the amount? And we sell more sneakers, count. So maybe we need to go and do some coupons or email people or uh, push them to a better area of the store where they're more visible, put them at the front by the cashier area or the registers and try and sell some of these more profitable items like boots and sneakers B because they're our most profitable items, but we're definitely not selling. They're the two least sold of the uh, footwear area. Hope you found this interesting and information. It's a great way to quickly put your data in Power BI. You didn't have to do any custom coding. It's all built in there, and then it works great when you do your filters, your subfilters based off that. Uh, and then I showed you how to make a quick um, dashboard just from, what, six columns of data? Yeah, all we had was six columns of data in our uh, original data sheet. You could have more, it doesn't matter. But that shows you how to quickly get something where you can quickly start developing insights and, and uh, meaningful data from this. Hope you found this interesting information. This is what we do every day in data analytics, data science, whatever you call it. Uh, thanks again and have a great day.